A two-day symposium on exploring community re-entry for former offenders in the Bahamas currently underway at the Bahama Resort. It's a partnership between the Inter-American Development Bank and the National Security Ministry. The two-day initiative seeks to define parole, analyze the strengths and weaknesses of the adult correctional system, and outline the advantages and disadvantages of parole. The Don Davis has more. Officers from the Bahamas Department of Corrections flocked to the Bahama Resort Tuesday to receive some crucial information on the importance of the parole system in this country. The Inter-American Development Bank has given some $356,000 in a technical grant for the Bahamas Department of Corrections re-entry system and fully supports efforts to improve the lives of inmates and ex-offenders. Minister of National Security, the Honorable Marvin Dame, says if we want to see more success in our recidivism rate, we must develop more effective interventions to avoid further criminality. International studies show that most returning offenders have difficulty managing the basic elements for successful reintegration, such as finding and maintaining employment, finding a place to live, and reconnecting with family members. Parole is a structured and supervised transition system that provides inmates with the necessary support to successfully re-enter the community. Additionally, Mr. James applauded members of the Probation and Parole Committee, chaired by former Commissioner of Police Paul Farquharson, for their efforts in charting the implementation of a parole system at the correctional facility. The committee was responsible for making recommendations for the establishment and operations of a parole system in the Bahamas. This symposium represents the first in a series of working meetings that will hopefully pick up where the committee left off and continue the fundamental work of the implementation process. Meanwhile, Acting Commissioner of the Bahamas Department of Corrections, Charles Murphy, also agrees that the forum will give officers the opportunity to change the design of the re-entry model that's best suited to fit the security needs of this country. Really integrating an offender in society, as the case of parole, requires the work that begins long before the offender leaves prison. It also involves the support of families, friends, neighbors, victim families, church, and employers. Department of Correction Service participation in this event will strengthen your confidence and the community confidence in our ability to manage the complexity of this successful offender reintegration. Meanwhile, Wednesday's session will focus on the police bill of 2016. LaDawn Davis, ZNS Network News.